Well, it's been a while since I've shot a video. Um, I've been uh, busy with, with the holidays, of course, and I'm finishing up a Doctor of Ministry degree, which I'm really excited about. But uh, it has been so busy, and um, uh, I am happy, though, to get back into this here and show a couple of Bibles. And I thought this would be really uh, interesting. I actually have here uh, the RSV, Revised Standard Version, and the newer the, the new Revised Standard Version. But this copy here is kind of a historic copy. Uh, so I thought we would just take a look at this. You might be interested to see this. This uh, Really, it's, it's kind of a first edition copy, I guess you could call it. Uh, and then compare it a little bit with the updated New Revised Standard Version. So this Revised Standard Version uh, is leather cover and you can see the uh, spine here says helps it's got some helps in the back revised standard version printed by Augsburg uh, and what I find so interesting about this as we get into it here it is nice leather and uh, has a synthetic liner This is the title page, and that shows you here that uh, the Revised Standard Version uh, is actually associated with the King James Version of 1611, uh, but that was revised in 1881 to 1885, and then the New American Standard Version in 1901. All that was revisions of the 1611 King James Version. And then they took those revisions and created the, the Revised Standard Version. I have talked about this in other videos. I have a translation video about the new Revised Standard Version. Uh, so if you'd like to watch that, learn more about this translation and the new Revised, you can check out that video. But uh, this is what's neat about this, this uh, Bible here is that it is actually, as you can see, copyright 1952. For the Old Testament, the New Testament was 1946. So from everything I can see, um, this is a first edition. This is actually from the 50s, from what I can tell. And so I find that to be really fascinating. We have really an original edition of the Revised Standard Version. And uh, it's neat because you, you can see in some ways it's an update of the King James. It's more modern, but it's by today's standards, more traditional. Uh, you have the preface here. Then we have the uh, names of the books of the Bible. And abbreviations. So uh, pretty straightforward uh, common stuff that you see in a lot of Bibles. So getting into it here, um, this I, I'm happy to say whoever originally owned this used this a lot, so it's got a lot of wonderful Bible study markings in it. But as far as what I really just want to show you here is the format. Even in the 1950s you had poetic format for certain parts of the Bible, and then you have paragraph formatting for other parts. Uh, this also has illustrations throughout the Bible. And uh, they're nice uh, 1950s illustrations. <laughs> and for the day, again, this would be uh, pretty up to date. The English is uh, much more modern than the King James. It's interesting though, if you get into the Psalms here, you will actually see, for example here, the crash of thy thunder was in the whirlwind. So they do use thy in the poetic settings here in the Psalms. So it's more modern than the King James, but it's definitely much more traditional and uh, has the older English than what we would see today in modern translations. Here's another illustration. Uh, you do have section headings and then uh, these paragraphs here. Again, poetic settings. It's a Brevere typeface from what I saw, so it's uh, 
I'm not sure what the size font is. I would say probably right around 8. So really neat. Another interesting feature of this Bible is when you get between the Old Testament and the New Testament it is where you have um, more record pages, which is interesting because usually these are at the beginning of a Bible. But in this edition, they're right in the middle. There is at the beginning of the Bible the presentation page, but the middle is where they have all the family records. So that's pretty interesting. And then you get to the New Testament. And again, you see a little bit more of a traditional wording here. It says the New Covenant, commonly called the New Testament, of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And again, all the information. I think it's pretty cool how much information they put on these pages, because you can tell this would be, at the time, a new translation. So, a lot of neat information there. And then here are the books of the New Testament title page of the New Testament. And then we get into the text here. So, um, really traditional uh, looking uh, compared to translations that are coming out today, and yet this, this was actually uh, a new translation at the time. And uh, very, for its day, very readable. Yeah. So the first thing that we see here is uh, helps for Bible study, and it shows you all the different helps that are contained in this part of the Bible. 50 great passages from the Bible. So really neat to see these, these helps um, and how they would have done it in the 1950s. Really, you know, these are kinds of things you'll see in some Bibles today, but just done in the the style and the technology of, of this time period. The parables of Jesus. Fifty hundred fifty great Bible stories. Chief events in the life of Jesus. So a lot of really nice helps and again whoever used this really uh, used it a lot for Bible study and I can see why. It it's just a really nice Bible. It has a Bible dictionary as well. You don't get that in uh, a lot of Bibles and this is actually a really a nice footprint. Uh, I'll try to include the measurements in the description below this but it's you know really you're looking at probably a less than nine by six inches and maybe a little eh, inch and a quarter thick so really good footprint and has a lot of helps in it and is actually still really readable the paper from this time period I would say is really good it is thin but as you can see very opaque you're not getting a lot of bleed through so really really high quality actually and for it to last uh, for 60 years or so uh, it says a lot actually getting on 70 years here <laughs> so really uh, really awesome here's the concordance and then finally we have our oh wait a second we've got some historic Christian symbols oh there you go <laughs> that's uh, that's pretty interesting. I like that. Graphic representation of ideas which have evolved into a variety of forms. These illustrations are basic, but may vary in detail from familiar symbols. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's not something you're going to likely see in a Bible today. <laughs> wow, that's, that's really cool. Well, there's a bit of history right there. I mean, these are things we still see. Uh... Definitely the fish, these crosses, although, wow, the anchor cross. That is really cool. So there you go, I'm getting an education here. And then after we get uh, through those symbols, we have uh, coins of biblical times. And then our maps. Got these nice 1950s maps. And actually, for the time period, I mean, these are in color. Uh, again, I'm not 100% sure this is from the 1950s, but 
there's no updated copyright so I would think it is from the 50s it does have this uh, ribbon here I mean so if this is from the 50s maybe the 60s at the latest I would say um, it's held up really well and uh, it is a neat little you could say kind of condensed study Bible um, in the sense that it has those helps in the back that are really interesting uh, but also it's fascinating to compare it to the New Revised Standard Version and I'm not going to do this thoroughly but just to show you the formatting of both Bibles uh, you do have poetic settings for both of them so I can zoom in here to show you that and as you can see uh, they both have uh, poetic settings for the Psalms the typeface on the NRSV now this is a 2019 printing is a comfort print and so it's a little bigger and uh, quite bold and, and very readable uh, but for this uh, this time period this was actually a really readable Bible really nice so looking at 1st Samuel in both of these Bibles it's, it's interesting uh, what you'll notice is that um, in the paragraph sections you will see at the beginning of the paragraphs a larger verse number and then in the middle of the paragraphs you'll see smaller verse numbers and that is true in both editions and actually the the verse numbers in the uh, the newer edition are quite small within the paragraph kinda looking at uh, 1 Samuel chapter 2 there uh, there are new headings they have a different wording but uh, they're divided in similar places I do notice here that uh, verse 11 actually after Hannah's song is uh, included right after Hannah's song in the older edition in this new revised they actually separated it out into the next section so you can see that right here verse 11 is there in the older edition verse 11 is here so just some interesting uh, formatting differences but that kind of shows you how those two look together and I like it I mean really what you're looking at here is modern for its time updated for its time but the revised standard version has always had a high link to history again being updated uh, from the King James the revised standard version American standard version same same with this which is an update of the revised standard version so it's modern in some ways and yet traditional tied in with history in other ways so that is really fascinating I thought you might find that interesting and that is a look at the revised standard version uh, from the 1950s and comparing a little bit here with uh, a new revised completed in 1989 but this is a 2019 printing so you really got something uh, first edition to the newest edition of a similar translation. Hope that was interesting for you and helpful and uh, thank you so much for watching look at these Bibles from a fresh perspective.